At Princeton, we have a lot of education in like technical fields and in you know some areas of philosophy and humanities, et cetera, et cetera. But we don't we're really lacking um, sort of formation. How should I live my life? And I think that that's what the Aquinas seminars are really offering is they're trying to answer that. We have a faith, but how do we actually live that out in our real real day to day lives? And I think that's what's really valuable and what students are kind of coming for. The Aquinas Institute offers spiritual and intellectual sustenance that are formidable, where every time I go to an event, I walk away feeling even more impressed with the level of rigor, clarity, helpfulness, everything you can want in this kind of formation. It's very exciting to become part of the Aquinas community now. Uh, my role officially is Managing Director of the Aquinas Institute. Uh, Leah, my wife, and I focus on providing intellectual enrichment for uh, pr the Princeton Catholic community. Uh, so specifically that involves putting on seminars, bringing in guest speakers, hosting book clubs and other informal events that correspond to the liturgical year and provide a sort of structure for intellectual and social engagement for everyone involved with the Aquinas Institute. I'm one of the two managing directors of the Aquinas Institute, along with my husband, Alexi Sargent. And a lot of what our role is, is just kind of expanding for the students what Catholic life looks like. And part of what I think of as my job is that when college students have all the benefits of the chaplaincy to rely on to kind of shape their life as Catholics. And once they graduate, that support is going to go away and we hope it kind of exists at the parish level to an extent, but we really want to help students graduate ready to be you know, the anchor of faith for their housemates, for their family, wherever they go after college. Through seminars, through casual conversation, through celebrations of the liturgical year, we want to both invite them into a full Catholic life and help them think about what theirs will look like after graduation. What I think is special about uh, the Catholic community at Princeton is that we are blessed with the Eucharist right on campus. I think we remain the only Ivy League school where the Eucharist is uh, reserved in the university chapel. Well, our Holy Father, um, now St. John Paul II, wrote uh, a wonderful uh, encyclical, Fides et Ratio. And my sense is this, if you have great intellect, but no faith, you're apt to be a brute. If you have faith but no intellectual basis or complementarity, perhaps you will move in the direction of being superstitious uh, and not fully alive so that you can accomplish the mission of Christ. We're not called to be tepid, we're not called to be mediocre uh, in our lives as members of the body of Christ, but to be powerful and to exercise leadership to the extent that people uh, can take in uh, the academic intellectual opportunities that are provided now uh, and will continue to grow uh, through the Aquinas Institute for Catholic Life at Princeton University.